So you're looking for your one-stop shop for ultralight cooking utensils that have the capability to do a lot of work around your backcountry kitchen, regardless of your car camping, hunting, or backpacking, or just day hiking in general. Well, I've had the chance over the last six months to take this Gerber Complete Multi-Tool Cook Set out on the trail, car camping, and on backcountry adventures, and had a chance to see what it's good at, and maybe what are some of its drawbacks. So I invite you to come along with me today as we break down this utensil set. Well, folks, there it is. I've had a chance to just really get to know this little setup. And there's absolutely some aspects to it that I'm like, dude, I love this thing. But there are a few drawbacks that I want to highlight as well. So the first thing is this, that this is ultra light. For everything that you're about to see today, it's going to weigh in at 2.3 ounces. So that's a very lightweight package. It's going to come in at 7.75 inches overall length and about an inch and a half overall thickness. So it's not going to take up a lot of real estate, particularly if you're backpacking or day hiking in your pack, but also if you're just car camping, maybe you have a pop-up camper and you're just trying to streamline and slim down your utensils when it comes to cooking, this is not going to take up a lot of space. So that's the first aspect. Now, what happens is that we have four different items here and they're all stacked together and kind of click together. And the first item we'll look at here is the multi-tool basically aspect to it. This is gonna come with a vegetable peeler, a bottle cap opener, a can opener, as well as a serrated little tooth there to open packaging for your food. So there's a lot of cool aspects to it. I haven't even used the peeler because I don't peel my vegetables and I don't peel um, my fruit. So I don't really know if it works well. I've heard mixed reviews on that aspect to it. If that's something you do constantly, uh, sure, it seems to work fine, but I would probably stick with one of the actual dedicated peelers because they have a lot more real estate to work with. This is about an inch and a quarter um, space here. The bottle lifter does what it's supposed to. I've torn open some packaging with it and I've opened a few cans with it. So it's totally functional in that way. And it's nice to have that in case you forget your actual like crank, you know, tool uh, to open your cans or, you know, your bottle cap opener. Uh, or you're just you know out there in the backcountry and you don't have space for that, it does do everything within reason that this little tool should have and should be capable of. Now I wanna show you one aspect that maybe isn't so cool is that you have to have all four pieces locked in together to have it seat properly. Otherwise, the other pieces just slide around and are all loosey goosey. You'd have to do some sort of like rubber band, ranger band, you know, something to keep these all tight if you wanted to dump that little multi tool because you just don't feel like you need it when you're particularly in the backcountry hiking and you want to even streamline the weight even more so. You can dump a few ounces, but you are going to have to figure out how to attach these in a different way. It's not a deal killer, but it would have been nice to have. Have them all clicked together separately so you don't have to bring the multi-tool piece if you don't want to or maybe you don't want to bring the spoon or the spork or whatever it is you have to kind of stack it all together or find another way to lash them because if you remove one they don't click together so next up we have these anodized aluminum spork and spoon they have functioned very well use them a ton in camping and hiking and those type of activities uh, they have a pretty good reach at 7.75 inches uh, the edges are not sharp but they definitely are thin enough that you could absolutely cut through softer meat like chicken or something like that uh, and the spork particularly has good tines to stab but still has enough of a bowl that you could easily eat oatmeal with it so you could almost dump the spoon for about 50 percent of your um, spoon activities probably soup would really be the only one that you would prefer to have the spoon with that would really um, help but they both function properly they are aluminum so there is some flex there and if i really cranked on them i would bend them but they have been holding up well now i got the natural colored ones but just as a data point i have seen a few comments of people getting the other colored combos because they have several different color combinations uh, and when they put them in the dishwasher they wore off the paint or coating that was on there within like one or two washes and became kind of a, a weird you know look and just didn't look right so um, just something to note i have run these through the dishwasher i haven't had any issue with them but if you did 
do get the colored ones and you are thinking of doing a lot of dishwasher running with them, um, they may wear um, exponentially over just the natural colored ones. Now onto the spatula, which is sick. I've used this a ton, both car camping with the family at a designated campsite doing eggs. Uh, you know, that's definitely the main thing that I've used this for. Uh, but we've done some pancakes. Uh, we did it in the backyard when we were in lockdown and uh, doing backyard campfires and cooking over the fire in a pan. And this works really well. It's a silicone and a heat resistant nylon. Uh, I have worked with it several times over a fire and in burners and haven't had any sort of melting or issues like that. Um, so it's rather heat resistant. Obviously, don't be dumb and, you know, leave it, you know, play with it, play with it in the fire. I'm going to move some coals around with it or, you know, leave it on a, a hot metal item for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, you may start to see some melting, but for all the general use that I've seen and used with it, it works really well. You have that silicone lip on one side for catching the edges and then the kind of a rigid serrated part on the other. Works really well though and have had no issue. Now this is really kind of the party trick of the complete setup is that I can add the spork fork and now it becomes a pair of tongs. And I really like that aspect. It works really well for flipping burgers, uh, adjusting maybe chicken, steak, sausage that you may be doing on the fire uh, or on your grill and is going to work very, very well. And it's a really cool little aspect that I really dig. And honestly, for me, if I was going back country hiking or camping, um, for me to streamline and cut down on weight, I would probably just take the spatula and the spork and you could get basically any type of cooking that you would want done as well as eating with these two utensils uh, as long as you don't need to, you know, peel something or, you know, uh, you're doing something really uh, wet like soup or something like that. So the complete is a super cool setup. Now this is the other kind of caveat. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty penny. I paid about $25 for this. That's the average going rate. Sometimes you can look and find it for about 20, but between 20 and $25 for this setup. And since it's aluminum and polymer and not titanium, I feel that's like a little bit overpriced. Maybe if it was more around like 18 to $20 all the time, that would fit a little bit better. Uh, so it's a little overpriced at 25 bucks on average is what the going rate is, but you still get a lot of performance. You just have to determine, do you really need all of the aspects? Are there other you know, systems out there that might be a little bit more um, cost effective and giving you very similar results? But for me and my family, it has become a staple, not only in the car camping kit, but also if I do day hiking and we are going to be cooking a lot. Um, making some sort of meal or something like that. It definitely has a versatility and compact capability that my larger spatulas and other items just don't really work and offer to me uh, because of how lightweight and how compact it is and functional it is with those tongs particularly. So guys, uh, that's it. I'll have links for you guys below over to Blade HQ, GP Knives, Amazon, uh, where you can pick this up if this is something that connects with you. We appreciate it when you do use the hyperlinks that we offer to you as well as a quick shout out to all the PayPal supporters, those of you that are given 5, 10, 15 bucks a month just to help me buy gear like this, to make content like this. Really appreciate that. And if you're not yet a supporter in that way and you feel like that's something you might be able to do, we really appreciate it. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I invite you to become part of the GT family and subscribe. You can check out the other video popping up. We're throwing up content like this every single week. Just want to give you data on what type of experience that I've had with certain gear items and how that might translate for you, the user, so you can make a wise choice the next time you're out looking for gear items, particularly in this case, your utensils when you're camping, hiking, or backpacking. So with that, guys, thank you so much. Always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.